Hey everybody, this is Jason Blake, and welcome to another Mock Motion Minute. Let's make your day a little more automated. This article is a step-by-step -step process of setting up and configuring your soft limits for a Mock Motion industrial controller. Machine homing gives a reference position of each axis. This position is used to allow for job fixtures, jigs, and automatic tool changers. Homing your machine requires movement of each axis towards a sensor. Once the sensor is tripped, the control software sets a zero position for that axis. Zeroing an axis sets the absolute machine coordinates to a known location. This position is a starting point that the system will then count out from. Every time you power up your machine, make sure to home. Mock Motion provides a simple single click button to home all of the axes on your machine. When homing the machine, the axis will travel in the direction of the switch or proximity sensor. After making contact, your axis will move forward off the sensor and reset the control software machine position to zero. Bonus, did you know? Most ball screws have a fail-safe plastic sleeve around the nut to cushion a crash if there's a malfunction. Soft limits use software to protect your CNC machine from movement that exceeds a set position. No hardware is required when using soft limits since the software uses the encoder counts. It's important that the machine is correctly homed since soft limits uses the current position to determine if the axis is allowed to travel within the minimum and maximum defined area. This area is also known as soft max and min. Bonus, did you know a home switch or sensor can double as a limit? How to set up homing and software limits. First, let's open the main menu bar at the top and click config and then mock. Now let's select the homing soft limits tab. Second, let's select the direction each axis should home towards, positive or negative. Third, let's configure the home order, with one being first and two being second. Fourth, let's set the homing speed of the axis by changing the percentage under the speed percent column. Let's commit to these changes and press the OK to save changes button. Homing on the machine should now be completely set up. Home each axis individually to verify the configuration. Let's press the Home All button again to make sure that everything is working correctly. And that's it! You've successfully set up homing on your machine. Bonus, did you know? Mock Motion's control software comes with the ability to show the soft limit boundaries and the homing location in the toolpath display. Setting up soft limits. With the machine home correctly and the soft limits set, the machine will not hit a physical limit switch. If at any time a command is made for the machine to move outside of the soft limits while they are enabled, an error will appear in the status line and motion will cease. To set up soft limits, we first need to home the machine. Next, select the view machine coordinates on the lock screen view so that the DROs are orange. Now jog the machine to the maximum distance from the home switch. Note, make sure to stay inside the physical limit switches. If the machine is jogged outside the limit switches, it completely defeats the purpose of soft limits. Let's open the main menu bar and click config, then mock and select homing soft limits. Enable soft limits on each desired axis and enter in the recorded value. Note, if the value is positive, place it into the soft max limit and set the soft min limit to zero. Otherwise, with the negative value, set the soft max to zero and the soft min to the recorded value. Let's press OK to save our changes. Test the soft limits by jogging the axis to the maximum amount in all directions to verify. We hope this brings a better understanding of what is and how to set up homing in software limits. As always, we appreciate a thumbs up, and if you're not already doing so, please subscribe and receive notifications for new videos and articles.